If you haven't heard, a new era of Diablo 4 is ushering in with a completely reworked itemization system that starts in Season 4. This is going to be my plan for another season, which would be another season in a row of being the first rogue to hit level 100. And I'll be grouping up with Rob the Barbarian to take down the first new Uber boss, Uber Andariel, of Season 4. So what exactly will our plan be so that you can replicate it for your season start as well as... What are some brand new tips and tricks you'll want to know for Season 4 is what I'm going to be going over in the video. I've got my leveling build, end game, pit build, dungeon build, and one-shot uber boss builds uh, that are all going to be covered here as well as our strategy. And, uh, and then the, just the one caveat I will say is that we don't know all of the final tempering aspects of what they're going to look like. Uh, it was said in a couple of the interviews that they don't want to reveal all of that prior to the season launch. So the second we get in, the second that patch goes live, I'm going to be trying to go live right when it hits. Usually the patch goes live before the season starts and you can go on to non-season and check what all of those things are going to be. So I'm going to be live before the season starts going through and checking all of those temper aspects and you might see some of the builds change uh, once I go through, but all the links are going to be updated in real time. So anything you see will be up to the moment, real time info. I'm going to be updating it throughout the season and for anything big, I'll make an update video as well. So you can be sure that anything that you get here is going to be updated in real time, but this is what I have so far. So our whole leveling idea is going to be maximum fun and maximum new content. So the Hell Tides got completely redone in this season. And uh, myself, Rob, and a bunch of other uh, Diablo 4 blasters are all going to group up together and just blast Hell Tides basically from 1 to around level 70, uh, which is when we're going to do Nightmare Dungeons and World Tier 4. So you see here, and this works if you're solo as well, because everyone's going to be flooding into these uh, Hell Tides, so you can just run into the Hell Tides yourself and, uh, and group up with whoever you find. So starting at level 1, also the seasonal quest we know is going to be Helltide focused as well. So just farming these Helltides, you're going to make sure you do your seasonal quest, start your seasonal quest, and just farming the Helltides, most likely you will be progressing your seasonal quest as well. Uh, once you get to level 15, or if you've spent enough time in the in the Helltides, you can, whatever level your class is, for Rogue, it's level 15, you can do your class specialization. Uh, to get that power boost, you're going to want that for going back and farming more Helltides until you reach around level 40 to 45, which is when you can do your Cathedral of Light and unlock World Tier 3. Now, as you're farming the health tides, remember, it's it's going to change every hour. So this is a lot better than just spamming one dungeon over and over and over again, whatever the most efficient dungeon was at the beginning of the season, which is what we always did to rush to level 100. It's going to be it's going to be different. We don't know which <laughs> health tide area it's going to be. It's going to be new. It's going to be fresh. I'm really excited about it. And uh, and I think it'll be a nice change. So. Uh, then as well, once you get to World Tier 3, you're going to go right back to Helltides and uh, make sure you're getting your sacred items. Play with other people, just one of the tips. You Not only can you, uh, you know, obviously trade the items you always could, which are rares and below, but now you can trade legendaries and uniques as well. So if you're a rogue, play with other rogues because you can share all of those aspects, items, uniques, everything together. Uh, if someone already has it, it's going to be really nice to play in a group, uh, you know, this season, especially because of that open and free trade. Uh, once you get to around level 60, 65, go into uh, the Fallen Temple, run that, and then unlock World Tier 4. World Tier 4, you're going to go right back to Helltides, get your ancestral gear until you are ready for Nightmare Dungeons. This is going to be around level 70. You're going to make sure at least, at minimum, you have your ancestral weapons so that you'll be able to take out those Nightmare Dungeons. And then farm Nightmare Dungeons until you get to 100, basically. It's, it's that easy. It's not going to feel stale because the hell tides got completely redone and it's a different area every hour it's going to be fresh you're going to be getting uber materials too this whole time so then by the time you hit level 100 you can just go right in and start farming ubers which i'm pretty excited about because some of the tips for this season are you're going to make sure you know which 
uber boss drops the uniques you're looking for so for rogue i'm looking for scoundrel's kiss which can be my end game build i'm going to show you in a minute it's going to be it's basically a grenade launcher rogue, uh, which is really cool. And then uh, Beastfall Boots this is going to be for my boss killing build, as well as Tybalt and Godslayer Crown. So make sure you know which bosses to target farm uh, for your end game builds. You know, some of the other tips, again, I said play with the classes that you're playing. You'll have a better chance of getting items, getting duplicates, and sharing them with each other. Plan all of your codex aspects. We're going to get a free set of barrage leveling gear basically uh for the playthrough so you'll see that the uh the next tab here which is the skills tab uh from 1 to 40 is a whole barrage leveling spec including uh all the way up to uh your end game uh, spec and what aspects you're going to want to look for since we're getting the barrage stuff for free barrage is also a very good uh, leveling spec for rogue we decided here is the where I'm going to be leveling as Barrage, and this is how you can follow exactly what I'm doing to level with Barrage as well. If you want to do pen shot like we did last season to get the first level 100 on Rogue, I have the pen shot planner in here as well. And then we also even have the twisting blades still. So we have it, whatever flavor you like. I recommend Barrage for this season, but it's all in here in the planner. This is linked in the description below. Uh, as well as I have planners and videos. Some of the videos are outdated, but I'm going to be updating these throughout the season. Uh, so this resource page on the uh, guide is going to have updated videos and planners for all of these builds, but all of the planners are updated. So here you can see uh, we've got the uh, rapid fire build. This is going to be my main end game build that I'm shooting for. And we have it with Uber Uniques or with no Uber Uniques. Then we also have the boss setup variant and, uh, and everything. So here you can see uh, the main thing that we're looking for is the Scoundrel's Kiss Ring. Once we get this, we can basically get our build online. I'm going to show you the non Uber Unique version. Uh, hectic, this is going to be to keep our cooldowns nice and low. For tempering, we're going to be looking for chance to freeze uh, because we're running cold imbuement and frigid finesse. A lot of frigid finesse, so a lot of damage on frozen. Uh, just like uh, our frostbitten aspect on our boots as well. So all of our tempers, we're going to really want that chance to freeze enemies or uh, a dodge chance or resistance. So i uh, Remains to be seen how much they're boosting our resistance by on our jewelry pieces. They said they were going to boost them in Season 4 to account for the loss of uh, of enhancing our gear. So if we need res on our second temper, then you can drop the dodge chance. I just put dodge chance on here for now, but you're going to make, make sure you have max to all of your res, at least 70 in all of your resistances. So you can also use a temper on your armors for that. Um, otherwise on your, uh, chest piece, dexterity, dark shroud is very important. Dark shroud is going to be essentially our seventh skill that is not on our skill bar. It's a question I get all the time, but if you are running the umbrous aspect, then you are able to generate dark shrouds without having dark shroud on your skill bar. So we want a lot of points into dark shroud because it is one of the best ways that a row can stack damage reduction, which is going to be hard to come by in season four so dark shroud on your armor is the best option for that uh, as well as you'll see in the skill tree i have dark shroud in, in there as well uh, and then we have rapid fire on or rapid on our gloves uh, core crit damage this is a precision build so you're going to want to be stacking your crit damage as always uh, and then same thing you're going to see lucky hit chance to freeze and then damage to close so the way that the uh, scoundrel's kiss ring works now is that wherever you point and target it the all of the arrows are going to be focused on that area so you are most likely going to be closer up to the enemies because you can group them all together very well when they all come in uh, around you and close to you uh, you're not gonna have to worry too much about survivability because you're going to be freezing everything and then uh, all that damage to close is going to be applying as well. Uh, Undying, this is going to keep you alive. Uh, Frostbitten, we said, for more damage. Edge Master, same thing, more damage. 
You can look at the uh, affixes here as well. It's going to be mostly the same. Crit, crit strike damage wherever you can get it. Basically dexterity wherever you can get it. We're getting all of our attack speed from our weapons. So we don't really need it elsewhere in terms of on gear attack speed. Uh, and then our amulet. We're just trying to get passives that are going to add the most damage. Uh, and then uh, important here is the, uh, the temper which are going to be plus to cold imbuement tempers on your ring and amulet. And then uh, the tempers on all of your weapons are going to be, the most important is going to be chance for rapid fire projectiles to cast twice. And, uh, and then also you can get more damage to close on there. But the rapid fire to cast twice is going to be very important to get that mega mega damage the uh barrage leveling build looks very similar to this basically replace the rapid fire aspects scoundrels kiss and uh and repeating with your two barrage aspects which are here we can go and just take a look because so we have the planet right here high velocity and then we also have branching volleys so it's, it's going to be a very similar looking build. It's basically whatever your preference is. I'm going to be leveling as Barrage and then pivoting into Rapid Fire because I think Rapid Fire is just so much more damage with the Scoundrel's Kiss Ring. Plus, it's going to be my boss killing spec. Uh, so that's my plan, but you're welcome to play whatever you feel comfortable with. Uh, and then for the boss killing spec, here it is. Uh, we've got basically um, a lot of the same items. We swap on a few pieces Fists of Fate, Beastfall Boots, Tybalt's Will, Banished Lord's Talisman, you know, the usual boss killing stuff that we've seen in the past uh, that we're going to use to um, basically one shot all of these uber bosses. So you can go through and check that out and, uh, and see what it looks like for yourself. And again, I'm going to be updating this stuff. It has all of the tempers that I believe are current to the date, uh, but I'm going to be updating them as we go on. So yeah, I'm really excited. I'm looking forward to another great season uh, in season four. Come by, check out the live stream if you're planning on playing and you want to stop by and say hi. We'll be doing all sorts of like uber boss carries and uh, all that great stuff and really blasting. We're going for that first uh, uber Andario kill and then also uh, eventually be pushing the pits and see how far we can, we can push this build. So looking forward to it. I hope I see you all out there. Uh, have a great season if I don't talk to you and uh, I'll see you in the next one.